What's up? It's your boy Kevin. Welcome to Three Things Thursday, where I share three things about the Catholic faith in three minutes. Welcome to episode number one. What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about Our Lady of Guadalupe. So I have a confession to make. I don't really have a good relationship with our Blessed Mother or Mama Mary as we'd like to call her in Filipino. It wasn't until I actually got this statue. It was so beautiful that when I got it, I actually read up on her and about her. And that's when I fell in love with our Blessed Mother. And that's why I did my Marian consecration about seven years ago. Today, I'll share three things about Our Lady of Guadalupe. In 1531, the Spaniards have already won against the Aztecs, and some people, some locals, have already converted in, into the Catholic faith. However, there was still a significant number of people that still held fast to what they believe as Aztecs. A significant part of their faith actually involved human sacrifice. For the Aztecs, the sun god, the moon god, and the serpent god were gods that constantly needed sacrifice, a way to strengthen them. This human sacrifice gave them strength to do whatever they did. So for the Aztecs, to them, it meant that they would get a good crop yield, they would get a better life. And so even though the Spaniards have already brought the Catholic faith to them, a lot of them still have fast this belief that if they stopped human sacrifice, bad things would happen. Here comes Our Lady of Guadalupe to the rescue, aka Mama Guads. When she reveals herself to St. Juan Diego and to the locals through the tilma, it was a death knell to the Aztec practices of human sacrifice. And locals, Spaniards, and eventually people up to now have been drawn closer to God because of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Here are three awesome things about Our Lady of Guadalupe. Number one, the miraculous tilma. The tilma is made out of cactus fiber, which only usually lasts up to seven years. Anything beyond that, it degrades, and usually nothing comes out of it. But you see, this tilma, you can still see it up to this day. After several hundred of years at the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe down in Mexico with barely any signs of aging or decomposition. Several scientific studies have shown that this tilma has in fact miraculous origins. From the actual stars at that exact night when the apparition was made being on the mantle to the people present when the tilma was revealed to the bishop with St. Juan Diego, those figures were actually etched into our eyes to the lack of sketching underneath the picture, which is unheard of during this time period. Now, there's still many things about this tilma that is miraculous that three minutes would really not do it any justice. Two, out with the old gods and in with the one true God. To the Aztec's eyes, the tilma actually jumps out to them. Our Lady of Guadalupe is standing in front of the sun, standing on top of the moon, and definitely crushing that serpent's head. This signified that what Mother Mary carried in her womb was someone special, Jesus. It doesn't stop there. Number three, the victorious war dance. To us, when we see Our Lady of Guadalupe with her hands clasped, we just see Mother Mary in prayer. But to the Aztec's eyes, Mother Mary is in fact dancing. And not just any dance, she's actually performing a war dance that's only done when you've already claimed the victory. It shows to the Aztecs, this is mind-blowing, that she has defeated their gods and put them under her feet as we see in scripture. When you put all of this together, the miraculous stilma, out with the old gods and in with the new, and of course the last but definitely not the least, the victorious war dance, what we see is in fact amazing. It is no surprise that the apparition of Our Lady of Guadalupe is considered as a mini Pentecost. They say about 9 million have converted into the faith because of Our Lady of Guadalupe and still continues up to this day. This is why St. John Paul II declared her to be the star of the new evangelization as well as being the patron of the Americas and the patron of the pre-born children. There's still more to Our Lady of Guadalupe than what I've shared. In fact, there's countless books that have been written about her and countless videos you can find all over YouTube. I'm going to send down links down below so you can go deeper into appreciation and understanding of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Last but not the least, my wife is still giving away Our Lady of Guadalupe stickers and then some. Check out the giveaway on the link below. That's the end of our first episode of Three Things Thursdays with me, Kevin. See you next week.